Hey guys, welcome back. If you happen to see the last video where I uh, posted my failed experiment on uh, checking to see which one burned faster, the 87 or the 93 octane, uh, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I got a lot of good comments on that, a lot of uh, kind of ignorant comments, we'll say. So some, not a lot, but some. And uh, so, and again, that's okay, I don't mind. But I wanted to try this experiment again, and after doing a little more research, I found some uh, more information on uh you know octane which ones burn faster or slower etc um basically the consensus is you want a fast burn inside the combustion chamber uh some people say it doesn't matter uh some companies say their fuel even if it's 90 the high octane it burns as fast as their 87 octane and other ones just to say it depends on the additives or the formulation i guess of the uh fuel from whichever supplier you get it from so these are both from the same gas station and they're both uh, from petro canada in ontario and uh, there, you can see, like I said before, last time you can see the color differences. I've uh, got a little bit less fuel this time, so it doesn't burn as long. And uh, basically, I think more what I'm, I'm not interested in the burn time. I think I'm more interested in the flame front travel. So hopefully that makes sense. And that's why I've got a piston here. This is one of the, uh, one of the surviving pistons out of my old 3.1 turbo. If you've seen that previous video, you know I uh, blew up piston number five. And it came out in literally shrapnel. Um, but... Yeah, it's one of the old seal power ones, hyper eutectic, five mil over. Anyways, so I've got it kind of just set up in between some cylinder, cinder blocks here just to hold it level. And we're going to use that as a dish. And we're going to put the 87 octane into the piston first. And we're going to put the 93 octane in there. And we're going to try to record in slow motion the flame front. Hopefully my camera does it justice and makes it any you know give us usable data i guess was the best way to put it and uh, we'll see i've also got a uh, a temperature gun and we're going to try to measure the uh, temperature difference if there's any temperature difference this time i had a suggestion by a couple people on that as well so we'll see how that goes i'm going to try to set this up and hopefully it goes well wish me luck and we're going to dump the 87 in here first yeah we don't use a ton of it we're just more but you are going to use the whole thing just so we have equal amount for both sides. And we're going to try to measure that or record that in slow motion. Middle of the flame there. We're just over 200, 220-ish degrees. And this is on the 87 octane. So I found this interesting. This is the what's left of the 87 octane after I let it burn off. But, so as you can see, I haven't used the, uh, the 93 octane there yet. But it's still got quite a bit left there, it looks like. And even when I... It won't burn. You can see all the residue that's left over in there. That piston was, I wire wheeled it all and cleaned it all up nice before I started this, just to get all the old carbon out of it. And you can see how much residue is left there. So it's uh, interesting there. We're gonna see if the uh, the 93 has the same thing. So I'm gonna clean this piston up again, and then we're gonna do the same uh, thing with the 93 octane and see what that looks like afterwards. All right, we got the piston all cleaned up. We're gonna do the same thing with the 93 octane. I'm gonna dump that in. Again, it's the same, same amount. There we go. And then we're going to record that in slow motion as we light it. See which one uh, turns out differently. If that makes any sense. That doesn't make sense. See which one burns faster is what the goal is here. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna see what the temperature is on this one. A little bit hotter if I move at the same distance, I believe there. It's about 20 degrees hotter Fahrenheit. Now here's something I wasn't expecting. I don't know if you can still see it. There's a little bit of smoke still coming off that. You might not be able to see it in the camera. But there's uh, there's less residue, which I'm happy about, uh, for them, the 93 octane versus the 87. But it burned more completely, which uh, that surprised me. I figured both of them would be equivalent i guess i never really thought about it so that's uh kind of surprising that there was 
leftover stuff that wouldn't even ignite from the uh, 87 octane. Um, but the 93, yeah, it left res less residue and it uh, burned more completely, which is good to know, I guess. But again, not a surprising result. I wasn't expecting to see that. But I will uh, put this together and we'll try to, I literally, I can't tell on the flame front video yet to see if one goes slower or faster than the other one. Um, but I'm going to put those both together. I'm going to try to slow them down as much as I can in uh, video editing. So you can see them side by side from the same time that they ignite till they travel literally right across the piston and see if the 93 octane actually does burn slower than the 87. Hopefully you uh, enjoy this kind of stuff, guys. I, you know, I enjoy making it. Uh, like I said before, I do all this stuff, kind of stuff at my own expense and now my flashlight's going to start flickering again. Um, but, you know, again, I just want to see this stuff again for my own interest and uh, hopefully other guys uh, find it interesting as well. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. When you pause the video here, you can see the flame front traveled across the piston in pretty much the same speed, I would say. But I would say the 93 octane definitely looks more contained and less volatile than the 87. The 87 octane looks like it had a more explosive reaction than the 93 octane where it had a nice smoother burn.